Okay, we, we've, ex we've explored the, the influence of NOx and SOx pollutants that come from automobiles and that are known to cause permanent lung damage in children living uh, close to freeways, closer to freeways. But we haven't talked about carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide has exactly the same effect as hydrogen sulfide or uh, cyanide. Each molecule of carbon monoxide complexes with one uh, blood cell, with one hemoglobin uh, cell, and kills it removes its ability to carry oxygen, complexes with it, removes it and makes it be just a debris that has to be carried off by the body. It's each molecule of CO. Now that also we have never explored the additives that they put into premium gasoline. They put something in there to simulate tetraethyl lead. Lead is no longer allowed. But something is put into that premium gasoline and you know we don't know what it is. And all the downstream effects of uh, the various agents have not been analyzed and the total effects have not been quantified. The cost of refinery pollution and automobile exhaust has not been quantified nor even uh, adequately studied. And there you can see the smog is coming back. You know, the, the mountains are shrouded in smog just like the old days. And of course, this is the reason. Even though the cars are allegedly cleaner now, you know, there's just so many more of them. So there's, you know, there's a lot more cars. So we kind of figured there should be an equilibrium, you know, continue building roads and tearing down houses around them until eventually you get, you know, a, 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 a few enough houses so that, and, and enough roads that people can survive. And it's sort of a sad way that, that concrete would overcome living spaces. And then the more roads there are, the more um, lung damage there is uh, from permanent lung damage from the the sulfuric and sulfurous acid. And that says, it, here's to torture you more. The sign up there says it's uh, 40 minutes to LAX. We're drifting over here trying to get into the, um, the Harbor Freeway. And it usually isn't so bad here. And then Harbor Freeway North isn't so bad up and you know up until the 105. So we'll, we'll be in this mess until we get on the Harbor Freeway. Then we'll just shoot forward up to the 105. Now this freeway, the 110 Harbor northbound, you know, look at, still has a lot of traffic, but we'll go freely up until about the 105 where, you know, Caltrans screwed up up there. Um, and being in the carpool lane helps a lot. That gets us past some of the mess up until where the carpool lane dumps us onto uh, the back onto the freeway uh, by Adams Street. So at least we'll miss the big traffic jam that Caltrans created on the right-hand side, which is coming up in about a mile. Another stupid uh, bus stop, you know, in the middle of auto exhaust, and not the place to have a bus stop. <laughs> Here's at the 105 where Caltrans created traffic jam. Uh, impacts everybody. It is even impacting the carpool lane today. But the worst part of it is up around uh, Manchester, where the right-hand lanes absolutely completely stop. And it's, it just has to do with the physio physiognomy of the freeway, the way the freeway was laid out, and the failure of the traffic engineers. So these people over here are burning far more gasoline than they should be. Uh, and, you know, we do have the carpool lane. The carpool lane is better, but most of the people have to drive up, you know, burning far more gas per mile and creating far more carbon dioxide. The other pollutant that we haven't talked about is carbon monoxide. The freeway concentration of carbon monoxide is sometimes up to 100 parts per million. And carbon monoxide has the same effect as cyanide. Each molecule of carbon monoxide complexes and destroys, effectively, a hemoglobin molecule. So each molecule of CO that you take into your body, carbon monoxide, eliminates one blood cell that carries oxygen to your brain. So that's perhaps why um, mice exposed to freeway concentrations of carbon monoxide. You know, here we are at Manchester, the standard traffic jam, Manchester. This happens every day right here, you know, they're thrown into this mess. Uh, these mice that are exposed to 100 parts per million of carbon monoxide uh, prefer alcohol to uh, food or water after such exposure. And as you see today, both lanes are impacted. And all these cars now spewing out NOx, CO, uh, uh, carbon monoxide, SOx, and other pollutants. You know that we don't even don't even know about. All the additives that they use to make uh, premium gasoline 
are various hydrocarbon and other molecules. Now they used to use tetraethylene lead and that's been banned. But what makes us think that the stuff they're putting in there now is, uh, is any much any better for you? You know, tetraethyl lead was bad because of the lead. What, what are they putting in there now and what, what effect is it having on the auto, the auto pollution? Because whatever comes out of that, you know, goes into that gasoline, comes out the gas pipe. You're basically living in the excreta of these cars. You know, it, it, whatever goes in comes out and then we breathe it. That's what, that's what it is.